Hey guys, Alex from Kingsway here bringing you another video in our series on mixing broadcast for churches. Um, so in this video, I'm going to talk about our pastor's mics and the room mics and some of the auxiliary stuff that goes on, kind of hit on some more uh, transitional stuff. Um, we'll talk about the media and how, how we kind of transition from the beginning part of service um, where the, the host comes up and kind of intros everything into the band. Um, yeah, so I'm going to kind of start here where I would have things set up. So looking at our VCAs, so like I mentioned in the previous video, um, you know, we're kind of just starting with the media up. Now, unfortunately, like I said, I don't usually record, uh, the media channel, so there's not going to be coming anything through quite yet. Um, you can hear a little bit from the, the room mics that are going on here. I just left those up instead of the media. Um, which I'll leave them up now just because I so I can kind of figure out what's going on. So at this point, our countdown is ending. So I'm bringing up our pastor. Well, good morning, to church. It's band. great to see you today. Welcome. Will you stand your feet here uh, in our auditorium for our church family watching online? Those of you in the overflow room, welcome to now, church I've today. Are you ready to pray? Like I said in the other video, um, I have both pastors' mics up because I don't know which one they're going to grab. Um, and that way I'm just kind of fading in that pastor VCA to kind of start off. I'm going to go back because I started it a little, but just to kind of, again, give you an example. So I'm going to start with all of this down. Um, and I'm just kind of looking at the, the audio waveform at this point to see what's going on but at this point I will be starting to fade in the band a little bit and bringing in the pastor VCA in the room just a little bit well good morning church it's great to see you today welcome will you stand and your feet here, here to bring uh, in our auditorium for our church down. family watching online those of you in the overflow room welcome to church today are you ready to praise the Lord oh come on you can do better than that King's Way are you ready to praise the Lord today well, let me invite you into worship with our... Now, you can see I want the rooms on there. Um, I want to be able to pick up, especially, you know, they're kind of getting the crowd, not the crowd, the uh, congregation, rather, um, ready for worship, kind of like a call to worship kind of thing. So um, there's always a chance where, you know, they might clap or whatever. So uh, the room mics, I guess, especially since these are these mics are on the stage pointing out, they do a really good job of picking up uh, clapping and you know some singing and stuff like that so we definitely want to push them but again I want to make sure the pastor or whoever's speaking is like super on top of everything um, that looks like pushing the pastor VCA to right at unity and leaving the band I could probably bring the band up just a little bit here um, scripture verse from Psalm 106 it says praise the Lord oh give thanks to the Lord for he is good somebody say he is good he is good his faithful love so now at this point especially if we're in the second service um i'm going to be going ahead and looking at all right so who's leading our first song so in this case um i went back to the other service by the way just because i had uh, a better recording of um the the pastor's mics on this one um so in this first song Again, this is another song that's both male and female led. Um, so at this point, while the pastor is speaking, I'm figuring out, you know, or not figuring out, but checking all of this kind of stuff. Endures forever. Who can list so my the vocal glorious, one is leading. the glorious miracles of the Lord? Who can ever praise him enough? Who can utter his mighty deeds? Why don't we try to do that today? Can we do that, church? Can we try to declare? Why don't you start off? Right before the band leads us in singing today, why don't you just utter some wonderful praise to the Lord. Father, we bless you. We praise you. We honor you today. God, we glorify you. Isn't he a good God? Let's worship him together. All right, and now I'm going to push the band up, make sure the vocals are nice and at a good level, bring the pastor and media VCA down. is there anybody in this house that's ready to praise the Lord this morning? So many things to be grateful for. So many to bless the Lord for this morning. So we're gonna do that together as Joe and Chelsea lead us. Let's see. My soul. Remember this. And he buried it. 
So it was actually Vocal 4 that was leading. Um, so that's a good instance of knowing um, because I just pulled this back up and wasn't realizing who was leading on this one. Um, and there were some issues with the tracks there, which is why they got off a little bit. Um, but you get the idea of, you know, even just in that short amount of time, it actually worked out because uh, our Vocal 1 here was actually introing the song. Um, And I have those room mics morning. still pumping up so pretty good. I want to hear people clapping. I want the so sound of that room. I want to feel like I'm at church. Morning. So we're gonna really do that church. together as Joe and, and Chelsea. Now get ready Let's for see. the other female vocal who's actually leading. kind of went back into the vocals a little bit but just kind of wanted to hit on all those transitions um so we can transition out of worship so again that host is going to be coming back up this is a perfect example of why you want to be ready for any mic situation because the person that's hosting this part um is the same person that hosted in the beginning but she grabbed the other mic that's there and the reason we have both now sometimes I will see that there's only one person that's going to be hosting and I'll just take one of the mics away if they only need one. But on this particular day, um, both uh, we had two pastors that were preaching later on, so I needed to have both mics ready and available. Um, and just as a little warning here too, um, this mic was a little hot, so there is some clipping that goes on, but you'll get the idea, um, just the, the transition. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just get things set up for this last song here. Uh, we were in the key of G. And so, again, all of this is in Planning Center, so I can prep myself ahead of time. I know that, okay, this is the last song, so I need to be ready to transition to uh, our service host who's going to be coming up after that. Um, now, in this room, too, we do have a multi-view um, uh, set up of all of our cameras, um, and one of the cameras does kind of get a good shot of the stage. So it's good too to kind of always be looking up at that and just making sure, you know, if, cause sometimes we do things a little bit, um, spontaneous. So there could be times where people just kind of come up on stage, especially during a worship night that happens a lot more. Um, but I'm going to go to the end of the song, the last song here. And again, I'm going to kind of set things up like I would. Um, so at this point the band's playing. So, all of these VCAs are up. My media and pastor VCA are down. Um, so as we're getting towards the end of the song, I'm prepping myself saying, okay, I don't know if they're going to pick up pastor A or pastor B. I'm going to bring them both up to unity. And then that way I can just focus on my VCA here and then go back and turn down the other one. So let's play the end of the song here. There is no They're walking on stage on my multi view, and now our VCA is up. Oh, come on, church! Come on, he's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We worship him today. And I want that room mic still come pumping because people are really oh, you know, getting hear into it. Praise. We worship you. You are the undefeated one. The, the we bless your the name today. Back a Hallelujah! Bit. Hallelujah! Glory to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah! Oh, there's no other name. There's no other name. There's no other name. 
So it's I the only name that matters and bring vocal is Jesus. Pastor A down. Jesus. So now sometimes they will go we into a reprise. You, so again, I have to be ready for something like that. We bow before you, Jesus. Um, now, we acknowledge your power and your greatness, Jesus. I can see Jesus. that they're going to go into a reprise. Now, victory that you have brought. Oh, so we again, rejoice the band's with start them. Picking up a little Jesus, bit, so you are the source of all joy. A bit more. We bless you and we praise you today. God, for those now, that are usually sick the reprise body, is just the last song. So all my vocals today, and tuning and all that kind of stuff We receive the healing that comes set. from you, Jesus. We receive the mental, physical, emotional healing that comes from the name of Jesus in our midst today, we pray. We bless you and we praise you. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Can we lift up his name again? I just feel like we're not done in this moment. I just feel like we need to lift up the name of Jesus. Come on, Kay, lead us again. Let's declare the name of Jesus. At this point, I brought the pastor's mic back down. I don't need to go back and check this because they stay on stage at that point. So I know she's still going to end up with uh, Pastor B after this. Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We bless you. We praise you today. Amen. Amen. Woo. Feel like you've been to church today, I hope. Ken, I'm going to invite Pastor Brian. We're going to have a family dedication together. All right, so at that point, they go into a family dedication where, again, at that point, the band would just get completely brought down. Um, unless they're playing behind, I don't remember what they were doing at that point. But again, it's all about knowing, and we talk about all this kind of stuff before service. Um, but that's the basics for the pastor mics. I checked. I don't have any kind of recording. We haven't been using the, the headset mic a whole lot, so I don't really have any recordings of that. But it's the same kind of, uh, I'll go through the processing. I didn't do that. So we start off with a de again, in that 6K range. Um, SSL channels doing a lot of our tone shaping, um, a little bit of expansion as well, um, so things don't get too crazy with the room. Uh, same thing with the NS1 that's taking out some of the noise. Um, and then we're using the F6 again. Um, I'll go to Pastor B and just show you what that looks like. <laughs> really is about him really is about him all right i'm going to invite you to take a seat for just a moment if you can so i'm going to invite Pastor just Brian. as they get we're going to, to have certain, a family dedication together while as they're a... talking um and then the cla2a again that is just um doing some some leveling you know it's not about all the other things that just we kind do. of it's giving really some, about some him. added gain it really but is as about they really him. start to you know talk into really it a little bit him. Um, it'll All right, I'm going to invite you to take a seat for just a moment a if you can. More. I'm going to invite Pastor uh, Brian. This kind of set We're going to have a family loud, dedication so, together um, as a church family. It's not really reacting, but it's there to kind of catch some of that as well. So, um, But that would be the basics for the pastor mics. Again, it's a, it's a lot about the transitions. I don't change these a whole lot. Um, different people use them, but again, they're kind of set more for the mic. Um you know, we don't really have a whole lot of time to check these mics b before the service starts and whatnot. So, um, but, uh, yeah, so that should be it for this video. Again, they run to their, a pastor bus, which is just doing a little bit. Of, and they just have a tiny bit of room verb on them. Again, we don't want things to feel too dry. We really want to have a good amount of reverb and room sound and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, and that should be everything, um, I guess, at this point in the video series. The only thing that's really left to talk about, and I can hit on it in this video, is just the mix bus. 
Um, so the mix bus is where everything dumps out to. So that's this section here. Now, like I said before, um, the MD mic and the talkback mic, which is my talkback mic at front of house, they go straight to the main output, which is our uh, speakers here. So we can communicate um, from, you can hear the MD mic, um, you know, which is good because she might call out that we're going to a different part of a song where a different vocalist might be leading. And so having that on down here lets um, whoever's running broadcast kind of get ahead of that. Um, but, uh, yeah, so everything comes into here and then, uh, gets bounced out to our stream mix, um, which is just a, there's nothing on this. It's just a copy being sent to it. Um, I have it sent at unity. Um, and that just works for us. If you look at where, like, I'll get back into the full part of this song here. Um, and kind of push that up just kind of looking at where we're at in terms of level wise um, and I can pull up a, I can add a um, a meter here uh, so we can kind of look at our RMS level that's typically what I look at um, yeah let's see where we're So we're kind of hovering right around negative nine. Um, some of you will probably think that that's too hot or too um, distorted or uh, not distorted, but too compressed or whatever. And um, that's all right. That's your opinion. Uh, I'm of the opinion that I like to get a nice uh, loud level um, to, you know, I, I have control over how much I'm sending to Resi from the board upstairs. Um, I found that negative nine just gives us a decent enough volume where, um, you know, if people are watching on their phone, they don't have to turn it all the way up. Um, but it's also not like super, super compressed or limited or anything like that. Um, and then I'm monitoring um, the meters of what's going into Resi uh, from my uh, spot at front of house and controlling how much I'm sending that from the board. Um so it's never clipping down here. The limiter kind of stops that at negative one. Um, so it's not actually clipping. Um, and then, like I said, I'm, I'm setting that level that's going to into Resi, which is pretty much just at Unity because this level is fine where it is. 